What's up, fish tank people? FishTankTV.com, Dustin's Fish Tanks, bringing you yet another video from Mr. John Gerber's Gerber's Tropical Fish here in Dayton. Did a video on the freshwater. Gotta do a video for all you reef keepers out here. So I gotta show what's going on, John, dude. Take us around how you got into the game, man. What's going on? You got the reef set up. What's, I mean, the corals, this is a start here, man. I mean, you got some. Well, we got some corals down here. This, we're redoing our coral tanks here. So this is under construction. Okay. Lots this of live rock. rock. This is a uh, real reef rock, which they're, it's synth synthetically made out in California. So they're not taking it out of the reef. I know that, dude. I met him at Reef of Palooza. Yep. And they also have a nice shelf rock that they've come up with now. This nice. is pretty nice. That's tight. You can break it up into smaller pieces and make little shells for your corals. That's cool. Wow, man. Got a couple stingrays and some sharks down in here. Yeah, bring some food with us. Stingrays like to come up and eat out of, eat out of my hand. Awesome. There you go. Wow. Those stingrays are fat, man. Was it cool? What else we got? Well, and then we got everything for the reef aquarium. We got the blue leg hermit crabs. We have uh, sea hares, turbo snails. We have Sarah snails. We have nerite snails. We have margarita snails. Each snail does a different function. Some are good at cleaning the sand. Some are good at cleaning the rock. Some are good, the nerites are good at cleaning the glass. So we try to keep all varieties and we sell them in cleaner kits. Nice. To take care of the reef tank, keep the algae down. Nice. We have all kinds of peppermint shrimp, blood red shrimp. Where are those peppermint shrimp here? Oh, those we got a bunch of little guys in here. Nice. Oh yeah, those are hot. You got any blood shrimp? Yeah, we got a couple blood red down here. No. I hope we sold out of those. Sold those, all right. And what else we got? Oh, this nice little frags. So what are you selling these frags for, man? Um, the ones you're looking at now are two for 59. We have smaller ones next to them for three for nice. 14 dollars So you got sizes for the yeah, guy have, that's just trying to install it. $9.99 all the way up to $300 on nice. A bunch yeah. of these are Australian corals. These are fat. What is that? Little, I'm trying to think of Yeah, uh, there's a gonopore in there and another type. Gonopore, that's what it was, yeah. Nice little elegance here from Australia. SPS, too. Wow. The stony's looking good. Got some bubble corals up here. Cool. There's a nice blue linky starfish. Oh, that starfish is awesome. And we got in a lot of ultra colored mushrooms in here. And then a bunch of different zoos that just came in. They're not completely opened yet. We'll uh, separate them and put them out for sale soon. Whoa, look at these anemones. These are kind con of anemones, condies? Yeah, these are condylactus, purple and, and different colors. The clownfish don't host them, but they're hardy, good for the beginner. The, you know, they're from the Atlantic Ocean, so there's no clownfish there, so the clownfish don't usually go into a, a, a condylactus. Right. We have long tentacles. Hold on, i got to stop the okay. boat here. What what do you got right here, dude? Is that a powder? powder blue tang. Dude, that's a ridiculous tang. tang. What? It's eating, too? What's usually it? you see these, like, you know, half dead at shops. Well, the thing is, here at Gerber's, we feed our fish six or seven times a day, and we tell... All our customers, I ask them to ask my employees to feed the fish. You always want to buy a particular fish that's eating the best. So that's a good advice. So you say, hey, you say watch it eat. I mean, yeah. here you go. No, if I have six flame angels in stock, I want them to take home the one that's eating the best. So they have the best fish. Dude, in that aquarium. powder. That's awesome. The other tank, thing is we feed all these, we feed all our tanks uh, dried seaweed every day, twice a day. And then we also raise our own calypra. Okay. Under our, uh, uh, lighting system here right and we feed live color which is their natural food every day oh Here's nice that. dude these yellow tanks are so tight that's a pretty good price too right 24.99 yeah we got them on sale for 24.99 when they come in small if they get the live food it, it keeps oh, the body, nice. the, the body the so they're already pecking at that huh yeah oh nice they'll eat that whole thing in less than an hour really look at them checking it out I love the school of tanks too. Those look good. What else you got in? You got some flame angels, you got coral beauty. 
What's this? What's this little uh, yellow? What are these yellow guys? Those are lemon peel angels. Nice. Dwarf angels. They don't get large. Whoa! What's this? A mantis? Yeah, I got a peacock mantis shrimp in there. Nice. The Aren't those the ones that like mess you up? Yeah. Like if you... There he is, right there. He's not very handy. Oh, nice. Sweet. Oh, nice crabs too. You got a Moorish idol? Beautiful Moorish idol. Look at Is the he stuff. eating? Oh yeah. That Moorish idol's eating? He just came in. He just came in? That Moorish idol eats, he'll be sold. That's a beautiful fish, man. Wow. We'll see. Now, he just came in. I'm not going to put yeah, you on the no, spot he, to get him to eat. He came but. from Hawaii. Just came, actually, he was here Friday. So. All right. What's the trick to getting those fish to eat? I know those well, are hard. Well, I'll show you what we do here. Is on the uh, grab the juice. On the butterflies. Hold on, I gotta do your butterflies justice, man, because these are pretty hot. Whoa! Those are, nice those are beautiful, man. Beautiful majestic angel down there. This is pretty rare. That's a blue line angel fish from the South China Sea. We have it for $199. I've seen it online for $300 everywhere, and it's eating well. Nice. Dude, that's a cool fish. All your angels are tight, Passer man. Angels. Yeah, we feed them clams on the half shell. We feed them uh, mysis shrimp, PE mysis shrimp. We feed them krill. We, we give our fish about seven or eight different foods a day. And we soak them in vitamins and garlic. Nice. That garlic all good to meat now? Oh, yeah. Bites off parasites. What's this, dude? This is a, uh, an emperor angel going through his change. What? A couple bird rats. I don't know if a rat got you on that clam. I saw it went right towards it though. But I want to show people like sometimes Henny Oakies butterflies. Dude, this, I love the clown oh, triggers too. Clown They're so trigger. cool. What kind Golden of puff? puffer? Golden puffer. From... Wow. What do you want to show me here? I want to show you these Henny Oakies butterflies. When they come in, they'll be thin and they don't eat well, but. When you put a group of them together, we can get them to just go nuts eating the clams. What are you feeding them? Clams on a half shell. You sell those? Yeah. But they just go nuts. Nice. And then you get a very fat, healthy fish when you buy one here. Cool. Got some nice. Got a lot of pairs of clownfish, different types. Man, you got a lot of good fish. Another beautiful Achilles tank here. Those are so cool. Oh, look at this nasal. Nice nasal. Wow. Well. That's just sweet, dude. I've always loved nasal tanks, man. I was in Hawaii. One just swam right in front of me with like the long fins. Streamers? And yeah, dude. The whole deal. Kind of scared me, though, because it was like so big. Oh, he's sweet. Look at these little royal dramas, too. They're nice. Really cool blue dot jawfish on the other side. I don't know if you can see yeah, them that well. Yeah, I can kind of see them through there. So what advice do you give to people, you know, in the reef hobby, just, you know, from a high level reef 101, you know, when they're when they're starting out? I think the, the biggest thing with a, a saltwater aquarium is you have to watch the ammonia. You know, when uh, when you mix salt with water, the pH go, naturally goes up to 8.4. The higher the pH is, the more toxic the ammonia is to the fish's gills. So most people's problem is they buy a few fish, they're doing well, then they get a little too excited, they overload their tank, a little greedy. They, they have a spike in ammonia, and then they lose all their fish, and then they say, wow, salt water's so hard to keep. But it really isn't, it's, it's, it's monitoring, we test people's water for free, we tell everybody, bring your really? water in, let us test it before you take a fish home. That's tight, And man. Uh, the biggest thing is if we can get people to do water changes, on a consistent basis, especially in the beginning, like do them every three weeks. And then when you get through that first three months and your tank cycle, you can do a monthly water change. Really? You gotta really keep up on your water change. How changes. big a water change do you recommend for salt? 25%. 25%? 20 to 25%. 20 to 25%? Nice. The key is, I think people buy an elaborate filtering system and they think, oh, now I don't I got a good filter, yeah. yeah. I don't want to do the water. You still gotta do the water change. 
We got these in from Hawaii the other day, a Lineatus butterfly, and they're actually uh, acting like they're going to—they're starting to circle each other, and they're acting like a pair. So we might be able to sell them as a bonded pair down the road, but they're getting along great. Nice. Eating too. Eating well. Sweet. We got to we sell a lot of the uh, different eat. captive bred uh, clownfish. These are called vivid clownfish. They get a little extra white in them compared to an Ocellaris. We got a good deal on them right now. We got them buy one get one free. All right, dude. Buy one get one free on these clowns. What are you gonna give for the fish tank people to come in here? Um, Salt water deal, man. You can give. Can you give them the same deal as the yeah, fresh? Nineteen. Yeah. yeah, we'll do nineteen ninety nine. Buy one get one free. Any fish in the saltwater building. All right, I'll link up the coupon in the bottom. Click the link to get the coupon. You gotta print the coupon to bring it in. Let's go check out your puffin fish, though, man. That's cool. All right, so you buy a fish. If somebody comes in here and buys a nineteen dollar fish. They can get any fish of that value or lesser value. So okay. they can buy a twenty dollar fish, and if they can't find another twenty dollar fish, they like. They can take a $15 one free. I got you. And this beta, by the way, is probably coming home with yours truly. I like him. So, oh, sweet old eel. Nice and sugar. Beta. Nice. A big zebra moray in here. What? Dude, I bought one of those for my boy in college, man. Just decimated his tank. <laughs> Just moved everything around. There's a marine beta. That's nice. Eating well. You still got that giant dog of a puffer, that huge we got boy down yeah, there. Got oh, the porcupines are tight. We got some baby Those are so awesome, here. man. I had one of those back when I lived in Cincy. Nice. Yeah, let him be. He's spitting at you. Those are cool. These are kind porcupine of wild. Puffers. You don't see these too often in the male blue box. No, that's cool. And some females are in the tank with them. They don't What's the deal with those? Don't they have some like poison or something? Or yeah, like people they... are afraid if they die, uh, they can poison a tank. But you can have them. I mean, if, if, if it was doing poorly or whatever before it died, it, it's, it would, you could take it out before it released right the toxin. Just some squirrel fish. Got a oh. big pork and pork oh. right here. Nice. They're like dogs, man. Some toadfish. Got a golden head moray eel right here. Whoa. I think he's getting after it. Here's What's a, this low guy down here? What's the little That's a toadfish. Toadfish? Orange toadfish. That's cool. Huh. I love the style. I love his little like really like fins. It's like though. Oscar the Grouch yeah. from Sesame Street. Those are cool. That's a Grouch, I live in a trash can. <laughs> That's a cool puffer. You got two of those bad boys in there. So what about your filtration in this place, man? I know you, I know you like have a pretty solid setup. Yeah, I didn't want yeah, to go near it with yeah, the video, yeah. but I mean, you got a monster pro. Oh, so each row is on its own system. We have a huge protein skimmer, a huge fluidized sand filter, and we also have a, a, a UV sterilizer that has eight bulbs, 80 watts each. So we have 640 watts, keeps the parasites down. Um, again, we, even though with this great uh, with this great filtration system. We do 30 to 40 percent water changes wow. per month on this system. No, nope. on cool. all our systems. Wow, that's Got a food. bunch of snowflake moray eels in here, little guys. Love the Those are cool. I love looking over and seeing. Like usually, see like one flame angel. I'm seeing six. Yeah, and then you know, also if you ask my boys to feed them, then you're gonna go take home the one that eats the yeah, best. Yeah, eating the best. That's eating the best. That's awesome. Panther grouper, little baby panther grouper. Cool. Well, yeah, man. I'll link that coupon up in the comments, man. Thanks for having right. me out here. So, Thanks for coming. If you're in the Dayton area, check it out. You gotta buy one, get one coupon in the comments. Everybody making an.